Hi everybody. Right around now with this cold weather, some of you might be having problems with frost on your windows, uh, moisture, possibly your baseboards are getting wet, especially on those walls that are on the outside of the, yeah, outside of the house. Uh, I've seen cases where people even have frost buildup. And the purpose of this video is not to cure that because it could be a number of different issues and it's far too great to get into for a video like this. However, there's something you can do in the meantime that's going to help the situation a bit uh, until you figure out what the problem is. You need to get a professional in to help determine what some of these issues are. Uh, part of the problem is you're, you're, uh, you may have a lot of humidity in your house. Now I understand that a lot of times at this time of year, homes are very dry and uh, people will either crank the humidity uh, to compensate for that or run a small humidifier, which is fine. Uh, but other issues uh, people have is that the house is very humid and they don't even need to turn the humidifier on to, uh, to get humidity in the house. And that can pose a problem, especially when it becomes cold like this. So the first thing you wanna do is get yourself a hygrometer. Uh, this is from Canadian Tires. This is about $3 and what it does it tells you the humidity level in your house and you can move it around just to determine where the worst scenario case is. Uh, uh, the ideal situation for this is you want to be between uh, 30 and 50 percent humidity is what uh, what the recommended level is. Right now as I look at this I'm at 45 so I'm not too bad but it's going to give you a feeling right away for if your house is too humid. If it's too humid you're going to get a real problem with your windows uh, frosting up or water running down them or even on your baseboard. What's happening is in a lot of cases is you're getting cold air coming in through a, a baseboard or a window and when that cold air hits the warm moisture air in your house it creates moisture which is a problem. Okay? What we can do in the meantime is if your humidity is too high you, do, you can get a dehumidifier to help that but it's only going to help so much and you have to watch which humidifier, uh, dehumidifier you get because they, although they say, you know, 30, 50 pints a day, look at what square footage it does. If, if uh, 50 pint only does 100, 700 square feet, that's not a very big area. And uh, if you've got an open area in the house, it's not going to help a lot. It'll certainly help, but not a lot. Uh, one of the most effective things that you can do to uh, help, especially when it's cold like this, have you got a fan in the house? If you do, start that fan up and point it at the windows or at the baseboards where the issues are and let it run. Because what's gonna happen, it's gonna create air movement, which is what you need to get that, uh, that air moving away from the problem areas, okay? The other thing you can do is I went to, uh, to uh, Princess Auto and I bought for $3 this little USB fan. Now, you're not gonna think it's gonna do much, but you'd be surprised how well it works. Get yourself a cube, put the two together, plug this into an outlet uh, near the bottom of the wall somewhere and you can bend this accordingly and let this do its magic by pointing at a baseboard and getting that air movement uh, happening or you can point this at a window to get some air happening. These are really cheap, you know, I have probably four or five of these kicking around the house so it does make a difference. This will make a tremendous difference but not all of you may have a fan. So what's the purpose of this is when we start to move that, that air that's acting as, a, uh, as a, uh, a moisture point where it's coming in contact with a window or a baseboard and creating that moisture or that frost, we start to move that, you're going to find that uh, it greatly decreases the amount of moisture buildup. Will it get rid of everything completely? No, because you need to solve the problem. And again, that's too much for this particular video. But what you should do, especially if you're having issues, Get a fan, get the air moving in the house wherever you can, and you're going to find that it'll start to clear a lot of that up. So hopefully this uh, helps you out a little bit, and uh, if you have any questions as usual, reach out, ask me, and we'll see what we can do to help you. Have a great day. Take care.